Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we'll just look at setting up our Nuxt.js app up. And yeah, we're just going to create out a simple page and just look at setting up our, you know, first component. So uh, to install this Nuxt thing, you're just going to head over to nuxt.js.org and, you know, you'll find the documentation there and the installation guide, which we can find here. And to install this, you actually need npx, which you can uh, the installation process, you can find that here. It's actually really easy, you just run this command npm install g npx. And once you have that, uh, once you have that, you'll just run the following command to create a next app. And I'm just going to put it in the client directory. Now it's just going to ask us for some options. I'm going to name my project GWT auth. Uh, description, I don't care. We don't want a custom server framework. Uh, I'm just going to use bootstrap. Uh, Axios, yes, no, no, and all right. All right, so now it's installing the actual Nux package and it's setting up the whole project for us to you know, work on with the settings of course all right so that's done so now i'm just gonna run cd client so i'm just gonna change my directory there and run the development server all right so i'll head over to localhost 3000 we can see that the, the project has been installed successfully. All right, so I'm in my folder, the client folder, and what we can see here is the Nuxt file structure. So we have our assets here, uh, the components, the few components live in here. This, these are our layouts. So if we open this up, we can already see that the, you know, the the Nuxt app starts here basically, and the middleware, which we'll check out later, pages. So this is the index page. We can see if we change this, we can see that it changed. Uh, plugins, we'll look at that later as well. And our Vuex store. All right, but for now, we're just going to look at creating another page, which we call the dashboard. We want a template in here. I'm just going to put in a container and a maybe a h1 welcome to the dashboard all right so if you go over to slash dashboard we can see that it says welcome to the dashboard and the nice thing about nuxt is actually that you when we check this out and we look up um, welcome to the dashboard we can see that it actually created html so this is really nice for when you're building you know any site that needs SEO. Let's say you're building a forum or a web web shop. You want to be, you know, serving actual HTML so Google can pick it up. So this is one big benefit of using Nuxt. So uh, now that we've created the dashboard page, we want to you know start creating out our first layout component, which is going to be inside of the partials directory, and I'm going to create name it top nav. So this package actually uses this bootstrap uh, Vue.js thing because we selected bootstrap earlier on in the, install in the installer. So I'm just going to click get started here and we're going to look for the navbar component, this one. And I'm just going to look for this example. I'm going to copy it over in here. All right, so if I now just remove this stuff. All right, and remove this styling. This is all the standard styling from the setup, so we can remove that. Um, so the default of view also has some styling we don't need. 
and then here I'm just going to import the component we just created import top nav from partials top nav all right so now you can see that it has put in the bootstrap navbar, the example one, of course. So I want to change this to light and this to light as well. So now it's, you know, the light version, which I prefer. Um, this actually, I actually missed the logo right now, which I want to make clickable. So I'm just going to make it a next link class of navbar brand jwt auth oops need the two needs to go to here so if we just go to the dashboard now it says welcome to the dashboard and then if we click this link it goes back to home all right that's good i actually also like to put all my uh, stuff from the nav, uh, nav bar in a container. I think this looks much better. So now that we've got that, we've got this. Um, now we want to make some nav bar items. I don't think we need the drop downs yet. Maybe later, if we want to, you know, make the uh, account uh, drop down. But for now, we can just go with this. Um, we want to change this because we need a href, but it just needs to be a Nux link. So I don't think this will work. Tr try it out though. Yeah, this will just refresh the page, so that's not good. Just gonna head over to. The normal bootstrap documentation and just check out what the normal markup would be uh, so it will be an f item so a nav item and then in there we're just going to put a nux link And we're going to name the first one dashboard class was nav link to dashboard. All right, so these two links are working. We can remove the other two because we don't really need them. And then what I want to do is just want to copy this bring this down one more time this is a class of ml auto and then we have the right nav links here so I'm just gonna have a register link I mean a login link and a register link oops these need to have their own list item of course and register all right so that's it we have our working links these just go to the dashboard for now because we need to create our login and register page still but I think that's it we have our drop down for mobile and we have our you know our first two pages set up and yeah that's it so next episode we'll just look at creating up the register page and yeah I hope to see you uh, in the next episode. Bye.